Snap and sport. Oh, that does sound exciting. I suppose. Don't you worry, pioneers. It's really easy and it works every time. All you do is take a picture of the bird you've spotted and the app does the rest. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no, no, I can't get a signal. I think you'll find, Tom, that a book doesn't need a signal. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, no, got one bar. No, no, it's gone again. Hang on. Just wait, it's going to knock your socks off when you see this. Come on, you beauty. Right, as part of your animal rescue training, you're now going to learn how to bandage an animal. So, Sam, you're going to start with Radar. First, you need to make him feel calm. OK, Lizzie. Normally, I make Radar feel calm with a biscuit. Don't worry, Radar. No. Oh, no, stop! Oh. I'll get him some! Radar, come back! Oh, oh no! Oh, Radar! Oh, oh Radar! Oh. Oh. No. no, come back! Oh, I think he got away, Sam. I think he did, Elvis. I think he did. Oh, come on. Let's go and find him. Better bring some biscuits. You're looking for tea, Sky? <laughs> <laughs> right, so we've just seen a seabird. And to find out what type it is, we go to the chapter on seabirds. Oh, there it is. It's a herring gull. Ah. Quite right, Norman. Right, 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 right. I've got a signal. Uh, just wait until you see this little beauty go. Uh, there's a bird now. Let's try and identify it with snap and spot. We just need to get the snap first. Ah, no worries. <laughs> I'm not going to panic. Uh, I'll just put my phone on silent. Oh, 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 come here, you silly phone. <laughs> oh, no. I've just taken a photo of my foot. I've just got into town and I'm looking for Tom Thomas. <sighs> oh, sorry. I'm Christina. I'm an old friend of his. Hello. Oh, hi. Hi, Christina. Tom's out with the pioneers at the moment, but he'll be back later. Ah, oh, okay. Um, is it all right if I hang out here till he gets back? Of course, Christina. Oh, oh, do you want to see us do a dog bandaging drill, Christina? Uncle Malcolm, can I put my bee hotel up at the watermill near your beehives? Of course, Mandy. I'm heading up there now to gather some honey. I know all about bees. I've just been reading the big book of bees. Can I come too? <laughs> of course you can, James. I'm going to have the best bee hotel ever. I read all about them on page 72. I'm sure my bee hotel will be just as good as yours, James. Come on, you two. I'm sure both of your bee hotels will be fantastic. Oh, I'm not sure, PC Malcolm. I don't think Mandy's read the big book of bees. Thank you, Sam and Penny, for digging such a wonderful flower bed for our bee-friendly flowers. You're welcome. No problem. So, do you all have a seed cluster? A what? A seed cluster? What's a seed cluster? It's a cluster of bee-friendly flower seeds that we throw on the ground. You've got one in your hand, sir? Oh, of course. I wonder why she gave me that. As you were, Buzz. Seed cluster! Oof! Ooh! <laughs> Sorry, sir. We'll get it right in a minute. <laughs> Are we going to be wearing one of those, Uncle Malcolm? Protective clothing is very important when you're beekeeping, Mandy. I read it in the big book of bees by any chance. No, Mandy. You don't need protective clothing as long as you stay a good distance away from the beehives. 
What's that smoky thing? Oh, 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 it's a bee smoker, Mandy. It keeps the bees calm while you collect their honey. James is right, Mandy. And you have to be very careful and keep away from it because... Because they get very hot. Page 76. <sighs> I'm going to find a really good spot for my bee hotel. It won't be as good as mine. And I'll be over there gathering some honey. Okay, Lily. Give it your best throw. Best throw coming up! Hmm. How would you like your own little bee-friendly flower bed, Lily? Yes, please, Fireman Sam! Oh, I've collected so many honeycombs today. Norman, give us back our lunar chart. We need that for the experiment. No way. I want the moon men to stay on the moon. We, that's why they're called moon men. Oh, there's no such thing as moon men. Yes, there is. Ah, oh, I read about them in my Mitch Meet Your Comic Book. As part of our program to improve the fire station equipment, we have given Saturn an upgrade. So, Elvis, we need to test Saturn's new night vision equipment, the faster, stronger motors, and the brighter spotlight. Oh, it's so much smoother. Ooh, look how it weaves through the sky. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. Elvis, look out. The... What? Oh! Tangled hoses. Hurry, grab the controls. I think we should maybe look at those satin upgrades, sir. Well, I think maybe Cridlington should look where he's going. Sorry, sir. Oh, give them back the lunar chart. Now, now, Norman, give it back. No, I'm sorry, Joe, but this is for the good of all humankind. Wait, wait, I know. Um, Norman, if you really want to save Ponty Pandy from the, um, moon men, what you need is, um, uh, a, a pickle. A pickle? A pickle? A pickle. Um, yes, a pickle. It's what the Moon Man are most afraid of. Oh, no! I'd better get a pickle! A pickle, Anna? Really? It was the only thing I could think of. But I haven't got a pickle. Don't worry, James. I was just making it up to distract Norman. Are you sure? I don't like the sound of the Moon Man. Oh, it's too high, Sam. Uh, oh, I can't reach it. Great fires of London. How are we going to get it down, then? Is Saturn waterproof, sir? Absolutely. Fallen in the sea more times than I've had Cridlington's chicken pasta. Sam, can you and Elvis get the canvas and hold it out at the bottom of the tree? Roger that, Ellie. It's got a go faster stripe. I'll be the fastest delivery person ever. Mmm, those sausages smell good, sir. Are we having a barbecue today? Oh, no, 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 no. Uh, we're doing barbecue safety training. And today, to save precious resources, I will be using the Imagine Method. <laughs> yes. The Imagine Method? Oh, yes. Uh, now, we're going to start with the charcoal barbecue. Imagine the barbecue fire is getting out of control. Ooh. Now, imagine the flames are getting higher and higher. At this moment, I'm imagining what those sausages taste like. The flames are out of control. Oh, no. What should we do? Ah! 
Big, big, tangled noses! What are you doing, Firefighter Phillips? I was putting out the imaginary fire, sir. You were supposed to be using an imaginary fire extinguisher. We're doing the imagine method, remember? Oh, uh, sorry, sir. I was going to eat those. Sausages denied. Mandy, have you got me fish and chips? Oh, thanks, love. I'm looking forward to this. Oh, I thought I ordered piping hot fish and chips. This is freezing. Oh, no. Norman was right. My scooter's too slow. Oh. Now, what that scooter needs is a rechargeable, brushless, direct current motor. Oh, I don't suppose you've got one of those, have you, Dad? I do. As it happens, I was just taking one off my leaf blower, like you do. That's what made me think of it. Wow, that's amazing! Could you put it on my scooter, Dad, you know, really, really quickly? Mandy, if it means me fish and chips will be hot next time, no problem all. One souped-up scooter coming right up. And can you hurry, Dad? I've got loads of deliveries. Oh, well, it won't be long. Dad? But be careful. Don't go too fast and no going over any bumps. Yes, Dad, don't worry. It'll be fine and I'll go really carefully. Right, now, the gas barbecue. I don't know how she does it. All part of the job, Ellie. Wow, being a sergeant sounds amazing. Um, Sergeant Ravani? Could I work with you today, uh, instead of going with the others, please? I would love to know more about being a sergeant. Of course. Come on then, Sarah. Let's go check what our first job of the day is. That means the rest of you are with us. Today, we're going to be practicing search and rescue. Sergeant Sarah reporting for duty. Great. And here's our first sergeant job for the day. <gasps> Is it map reading? I'm great at that. I got a pioneer badge for it. Oh, we're not reading the map, Sarah. We are filing them. One sec. I think I might have some more in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that looks fun. Oh, but I'm sure being a sergeant will be even better. I hope. Here we are. The rest of the maps. Right, Nipper, just a short walk before we make our return journey. Now, Station Officer Steele will be coming back with us. I wonder how his mountain hike went. Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Nipper! Oh, leave the fox alone! Nipper! 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 <gasps> Don't worry, I've got you. Right, boy, come on. Oh, um... Oh, dear. Which, which, which way is the way back? Mounted maps go in the brown box. Wood maps go in the green, beach maps in blue. Mountain map, brown, and one last map of a beach. There, all done. Whew. Now, come on. Our next job is up at the helipad. <gasps> the helipad? At last, something exciting. I knew being a sergeant would be amazing. So. We're counting bandages. Yes, Sarah. We used some on our last rescue, and we need to make sure that we're fully stocked. Okay. Sergeant Ravani, can we do an exciting job next? We never know when those jobs are going to come in, Sarah. But we always have to be ready. 
Ooh. Some of our youngest viewers will be joining you for your very last night. Ho <laughs> ho! Nice to see you, kids. Hiya! We've brought a tent and I've brought marshmallows. Can we toast some now? <laughs> Not this time, James. I love marshmallows as much as anyone. But the rule of the challenge is to only eat forged food. Um, what does that mean? It means only eating things that we find in the forest. Who made that rule? <laughs> it was me, eh? <laughs> so, will Moose successfully complete the last night of his challenge? And will James get his marshmallows? Oh, lucky Moose. I'd love to be on the Scoop Dooley Show. It's my favourite show. <laughs> Tune in later to see what happens in Moose Roberts' Sleep Out Challenge. Moose has done so well. Being out there on his own for so long. And he's only got two pairs of socks. Right, everyone. We need to organise these hoses. They're not much use tangled up like this. <laughs> um... How do they get in such a mess? Oh, could someone give me a hand with this hose? Ooh, uh, coming, Sam! We'll take that, Sam. Ah! Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Sorry, Sam. Sam. Oh. You see, this is why it's important to keep our hoses neat and tidy. <laughs> At least you had something soft to land on. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I suppose that is one way of looking at it, Elvis. Welcome back to Moose Roberts' Sleep Out Challenge. So, what have you got cooking there, Moose? It's one of my favourite forged recipes. Blackberry and wild garlic soup. Who wants a taste? Oh, <laughs> I mean, uh, not for me, Moose. How about it, kids? Yeah. <laughs> well, suit yourself. You might be hungry later, though. Oh, if we do get hungry, there's always toasted marshmallows. Yes! That's more like it. <laughs> not in this camp, James. You know the rule. Oh, only foods foraged from the forest. But you look so tasty! It'll soon be dark out here in the woods, and I expect Moose and his guests will be wanting to turn in for one last night. But don't forget to join us back here in the woods for our breakfast time special to see the conclusion of Moose Roberts' Sleep Out Challenge. Until then, this is Scoop Dooley saying, stay safe, folks. We're over the engine! Turn it down! I can't! Smoke coming from the air intake vent. The engine must have overheated. Ah, oh, now look what you've done, Mandy. Me? How could it be me? You put it on full throttle. Oh, no. Uh, what are you lot doing? Oh, we're trying to change the engine on Neptune, but the last nut is rusted on. Ah. Stand back, everyone. Spanner. Oh, wow! Thanks, Josie. Just a little thing I picked up from all those years at sea. Come on, then, team. Let's swap these motors. I just hope Ben can delay them for a bit longer. It's called the Sailor's Hornpipe. Well, <laughs> what do you think? Great tangled hoses, Hooper. Chief Fire Officer Boyce needs to see Neptune, not your ridiculous dance. But, uh, well, I, I haven't done the... Uh... We're all clear. Phew. In you go, sir. Oh, no. I can't fix that out at sea. We'd better call the rescue team. Hmm. Well, it looks 
like you've done a good job, but we won't really know until we test it. A flare has been spotted over the ocean near Bonty Pandy. We need to launch a search and rescue mission. A flare has been spotted over the ocean near Ponty Pandy. We need to launch a search and rescue mission. Say, Norris, Neptune is going at quite a speed. Consider it fully tested. You clearly have a fine team here in Ponty Pandy. Thank you, Horatio. And I have to say, they've never let me down. Sir, we're splitting up to search the area, but we'll need eyes in the sky. Roger that, Penny. I'll scramble air support. And the tide is coming in. Prince the horse is stuck in the tidal flats and the tide is coming in. Sounds like a job for the hovercraft, Sam. Elvis and I will take Jupiter. Roger that, Penny. I'll take Mercury. And I'll be right behind you. Sir, we're going to need backup from Fire Swift. Roger that, Sam. Huh? Uh, Sheep in a fire engine. Ah. <laughs> See? I told you. Okay, Elvis, you were right. You can get a sheep in a fire engine. But where did they come from? No time to worry about that. They'll need to come for the ride. That's exactly what they wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Close as I can, Penny. Thanks, Sam. And here comes Fire Swift. I'll hang back a bit. We don't want to frighten Prince. Perfect. I can wade from here, Sam. Uh, Mrs. Chen, we're lifting off the ground. Oopsies. Maybe I did switch the wrong switch. Does anyone other than the station officer still have any questions? What's that flashing, Christina? That's an aircraft, but there aren't any due to take off today. Well, that one is definitely taking off. That's Mrs. Chen! Aren't you supposed to pilot Fire Swift, Christina? Yes, I am. I think we'd better call the rescue team. Fire Swift has taken off with Norman, James, and Mrs. Chen on board, but without a trained pilot. 
Fire Swift has taken off with Norman, James and Mrs Chen on board, but without a trained pilot. Hurry, Sam. I'm not sure how we're going to solve this one. I'm on my way, Penny. Oh, oh, dear. Whoa! Oh. Everyone, fasten your seatbelts. Please keep the control stick steady. Shush, Norman. I'm trying to concentrate. Who's flying the plane? Mrs Chen. I don't think you can call it flying. We'd better get Jupiter and Venus ready, in case they make an emergency landing. Mrs Chen. You need to steady the control stick and avoid the throttle. Check your altimeter and horizon indicator. I don't know what any of those things are. They're right in front of you, Mrs. Chen. Throttle, altimeter, horizon indicator. How many flying hours have you had on your video game, Norman? 329. I'm a squadron leader. No wonder your homework is always late. But maybe you should be the pilot. to let Norman land it. You can go and clean your oven now. Oh, uh, right, oh, thanks very much. Um, I'll be off then. Oh, Mike, you'll be needing these? Yeah, I suppose I will. Please hurry, Trevor, the clock is ticking. And I thought this would be an easy badge. Right, sponges are in, the timer's set. All we need to do is wait. Oh, hello. Oh, what's this? Have you got something in the oven? Oh, well, the cleaning will have to wait. Yes. Dad, you haven't cleaned the oven yet, but it was so greasy and stinky. Mandy, greasy, stinky chalk chip was not the flavour I had planned for our masterpiece. Don't worry, James. I'm sure it'll be fine. No, it won't. The oven is full of smoke. Oh, no! Whoa! <gasps> My cakes! I mean, the cake! Right. Oh, uh, let's move outside, everyone. If only you'd made the jammy sponge. Better call the rescue team! oven that Mike Flood was trying not to clean is now on fire, and so is the kitchen. The oven that Mike Flood was trying not to clean is now on fire, and so is the kitchen. Sam, Ellie, you two go in Jupiter. We'll follow in Venus. Roger that, Penny. I'm going to need you to stay back and away from the house. you to turn the power off. I'll close the oven door and cut off oxygen to the fire inside. Roger that, Penny. All fires are out. So, Mike, I'm guessing you didn't clean your oven. 
Uh, no. But how did you know that, Ellie? You haven't used the pole in quite a while. Nonsense, Sam. It'll be the perfect entrance for my big feature. Ready or not, here I come! Wait! We're not filming yet! Ah! I'm fine! Um, wh wh why don't you show Scoop your metal collection instead, sir? Oh, yes. It's a good idea, Sam. Ooh. Ah, okay. So you are an octopus with lots of sticky... Oh! Oh, oh no! Stay focused, Mandy. It's just a dog barking. I'm trying. So, um, holding the ball in one hand... Oh! Uh-oh! Come back here, Nipper! No! Focus, Mandy. Just pick up the ball and carry on. Oh, no! Come back! Nipper, give me my ball back! Give me that ball! Mandy! Oh, no! Nipper, stop! <gasps> Mandy! I'm OK! Keep back. It's too dangerous. Let me go. Are you both OK, Mandy? I think so, Trevor. But it looks like we're stuck. Oh, no. Better call the rescue team. Nipper and Mandy have chased a yoga ball over a cliff and are stranded on a ledge. Nipper and Mandy have chased a yoga ball over a cliff and are stranded on a ledge. Keep filming. Sam, I'll go with Penny and Venus. You take Mercury. Roger that, sir. Oh, you're in for a treat, Scoop. See you at the ruins. Rescue team. A burning go kart has caused a forest fire and has ruined my plant's barbecue. A burning go kart has caused a forest fire and has ruined Mike Flood's barbecue. <gasps> I wonder if he was doing his legendary sausages. Ellie, you take Jupiter. Elvis, you take Venus. We'll meet you there. Roger, Roger that, Penny. Penny. Buckle up, you two. Ready for takeoff. Now, Radar, you need to wait at the airport with PC Malcolm. I think Radar might be coming with us.
everyone. We'll be safer up here. Look, here's Jupiter. And Venus. Is everyone safe? Yes, we're all up here, Ellie. Right then, Elvis. I'll take Jupiter's hose. You use Venus's water cannon to blast the fire. Roger that, Ellie. them now. Christina, this is a big fire. We're going to need Fire Swift to drop some water on the main blaze. Will you please stop that and tell us why you think Mike Flood is a well, oh, well, whatty hoo hoo? A were fox. Because there were paw prints all over Mike's kitchen, and something, some strange creature, had knocked over the milk and eaten half a sausage roll. And I found some fox fur. It sounds like it might just be a regular fox. There have been sightings all over town, and they've been going into places and eating the food. They ate my gorgonzola. Mike was reading a scary book when he fell asleep last night. That might have caused him to have that strange dream he mentioned. That is so boring. Oh, this boat is very rusty. I'll go get a new one. I need to get as far away from that chicken as I can! Oh no! Someone's taken the Ponty Pandy Flyer! Stop! Stop! Wait a minute. They can't stop! I've still got the brake boat in my hand! Oh no! Not sure the brake lever should do that! Now I can't stop the train! Ooh. I think I better call the rescue team! Our Gwyr Fox is driving the Ponty Pandy Flyer and it hasn't got any brakes. Our Gwyr Fox is driving the Ponty Pandy Flyer and it hasn't got any brakes. Maybe there is a weir fox after all. One that can drive a train? I'll call Christina for air backup. The brake lever isn't bolted on. You, you might need this. Lowering harnesses now! Whoa! Not sure you're a natural when it comes to crumpets, Sam. Okay, now make absolutely sure they are four metres apart. Oh, now we have to launch a drone. Dad! Right then, all the safety checks are done and the display's programmed in. Oh, what are you lot up to? <gasps> Is this going to be a drone display? Oh, how exciting! Yes, Norman. Stand back and be amazed. It's OK, James. We'll take it from here. Yes, yes, uh, but we better make sure they fly OK before it gets dark. Initiating launch sequence. Roger that. We are go for launch. Oh, how exciting! Wait a minute. 
it looks like the Wi-Fi transmitter isn't charged up properly. Oh, no. I was so busy concentrating on charging the drones, I forgot to charge the transmitters as well. So, does that mean we can't turn the lights on? Oh, it's not just that, Hannah. It means they haven't got any control over the drones at all. As I said, beginners. Well, this is rubbish. But don't worry. As a safety measure, I programmed them so if they lose contact, they'll just fly back to me garage. Back to your garage? You mean, where we left all the fireworks? Oh! Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. What he said? Better call the rescue team. Now, focus, Sam. This is the last crumpet. Now remember, sniff, button, catch! Oh, I think I've got it. Four display drones for a party in the park have crashed into a big box of fireworks and caused a huge fire. Four display drones for a party in the park have crashed into a big box of fireworks and caused a huge fire. I say, that's my party. A new dance from the internet. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> and Mike and Joe said that I could perform it on my own in front of everyone to start the disco off. I'm going to look spectacular. Newman dance! Huh? Newman dance! That's Lily's favourite song. So lovely she has someone to dance with tonight. Again, again. Well, disco boy, looks like you've got yourself a dance partner. But, 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 she'll ruin my spectacular routine. That's Jupiter serviced and the fire extinguishers checked. Perfect, Penny. Now, let's join the team and get stuck into that fire. <laughs> Firefighter drill? Oh, you're not doing a firefighter drill, are you? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Sam. We were practicing the finale to our dance routine for tonight's disco. <laughs> it's called the Big Lift. <laughs> and I wasn't going to let him do that big lift with me until he got it right with Dolly. I'm thinking you might need a little bit more practice, Elvis. <laughs> Testing. One, two, testing. <laughs> Norman, what are you doing down there? Shush! I'm hiding from Lily. Don't tell her I'm here. Don't worry, Norman. I won't tell Lily you're hiding under the decks. Oh, oh looks like the microphone's working now. I think that's the best disco ball cake anyone's ever made, Mum. Oh, thanks, love. I hope it tastes as good as it looks. <laughs> hide me! Hide me! Lily won't stop trying to dance with me. And I mean to practice my moves. Norman, you are being ridiculous. Oh, no. Here she comes. Gotta get away. Gotta get away. <laughs> Right, back to the and we're still dancing. Bend your knees, Elvis. Bend your knees. Like this. Come on, Sam. Come and help Elvis. Uh, I'm, I'm not really a disco dancing kind of person. Oh, not you too, Radar. But, 